it means a lot, especially coming from him, because he'll tell you like it is, and he's not going to sugarcoat anything or just say things just to say them. Um, it's a lot of motivation, obviously, because it gives me a lot to work for, knowing that I'm on a positive track right now and where I could be. Uh, you know, it just kind of shows also the work that I've put in, how it's paying off a little bit. Uh, you know, came a long way from freshman year where I was a guy here who was very confused, didn't know how much I'd play, didn't even know uh, if I liked it here that much to uh, be in this situation that I'm in right now and enjoying my time here and, and reaping the benefits of what Ohio State has to offer. It's been a pleasure to uh, be here and I'm glad that uh, definitely work is showing to pay off. Um, but like I said, a lot of work still to be done. What's the challenge go to uh, from Alabama, which was moving into more of a spread to Oregon, which basically invented the kind of offense that they're running. Just what uh, what does the challenge become for you guys on defense? Uh, to manage the tempo, which I think we'll be all right at, but uh, that's obviously a challenge. Um, also, just to, to be able to you know, hang out there with some of their athletes and, and cover those guys because they have a really good quarterback. It makes their athletes a lot better. Um, so to be able to handle that will be a challenge. But as long as we're able to get lined up and look at the formation and then uh, make our checks and make our calls, I think we'll be fine. You get two huddles going. We have two huddles running at us. Um, you know, you put the clock up there and you try to get it going as fast as possible. Uh, it's trained us to you know, you make the play and then you get up right away and, and save the celebration for when we get off the field, turn right to the sideline, get the call, and then look at uh, what's going on on the field. Have you done that with other opponents earlier this season? Uh, we've done that in the past. We did that last year. Um, we did that a little bit when we played Indiana because we knew they were going to try to tempo us. But uh, we haven't played a, a lot of really fast-paced tempo teams this year, so we haven't had to do it as much. Do you see similarities when you watch me put them on tape to – your own offense here that you face every day? Yeah, uh, you see a lot of similarities where, uh, you know, they like to get their athletes in space. Um, they can run on edges, but they also have the inside run game. And uh, the fact that they take the passes, they take the throws that are there, they're not always trying to go for, you know, big plays and deep shots all the time. They take what's there, take what you give them. Josh, when you look at an offense that doesn't make many mistakes, like Marietta's interception total is. How do you force them into making mistakes and you know, just getting out of the rhythm, things like that? Uh, you just you got to get them uncomfortable. Um, that means keeping Mariota in the pocket because he's able to extend plays with his legs. It means you got to do that. Uh, you know, tight with the coverage so the windows aren't as big. Um, just knowing what your keys are and what you're supposed to do. And then, uh, you know, when you come out in that game, you got to just start hitting people early and hit them often. And like I said, that makes people uncomfortable too.